I have a little fiberglass project I want to start on. And this will give me both of the pieces that I need. Do you think it'll fit? What? what? Oh, it's perfect! Oh wait, I can film from the top here. So we can show where it comes. I got my video voice on, I can say welcome back to another episode of Building Vilda. This week we will run through a few more jobs pending before the famous white comes on. So we'll finish sanding the hulls, slap some magic white on the recesses of the deck hatches and we'll complete another little fiberglass project. Stay with us! As you already know, there cannot be an episode of Building Vilda without some oh glorious sanding, like Matt says. These were some finishing touches before spraying the white primer on. And yes, there is cleaning to be done before that and a few more jobs lined up. And then we finally got to see the first splashes of white paint on the deck. And oh my, it felt so good! even if it was just on a few small surfaces. Tell it get low, gon' rock with me. You gon' mess around now and get a shopping spree. I'm now in your possession like a posture. Oh, enough with all the talking, I just told it, say less and do more. I have a little fiberglass project I want to start on. So this is under the boat and uh, this here uh, is uh, this is where all uh, my lines will go well not all four lines from the mast will come down under the boat and go up into the cockpit here to a central winch location so this is a plywood uh, sheet and uh, i want to make a cover for this section and the same sort of thing in the front. I could make that out of plywood and uh, screw it in place but my plan is to make a bit of a mold from uh, XPS foam and lay uh, a bunch of fiberglass layers on top of that uh, making a sort of cowling or whatever you might call that cover that'll go from somewhere around here to here and that I'll be able to fasten with a couple of screws and maybe some Sikaflex ideally only Sikaflex but because this is not something you're gonna wanna work on every day but 
<laughs> what if I drop it? So, yeah, same forward and aft. Plan is to use some uh, XPS foam again, but this time just make a mold from it. The foam I have happens to be 50 millimeters thick, which fits perfectly. So I'll make some sort of uh, flat surface, make a piece that looks like uh, the male mold of the fiberglass that I'm uh, shaping, and lay some glass over it. So two of those molds, one forward, one aft. And uh, yeah, by tomorrow, I should have uh, a bit of uh, oh, um, some cover for those two holes. So that's a quick mold for both of these pieces. Uh, yeah, it's not super pretty, but it'll, it'll do the job. and this will give me both of the pieces that I need. I'll lay about six or eight layers of fiberglass on this to get three to four millimeters of, uh, of uh, fiberglass. And that should be more than plenty. I'll save about a centimeter or two of the lip all around. The rest I'll cut off. So, yeah. what's happening here today? We um, have a piece of a boat yeah. on the table. Yes. A and new piece of boat. And in my excitement and uh, bad YouTube skills, I already started opening it. Okay, so uh, let's do the opening or whatever is left of it. An unboxing. Unboxing, yes. So, that's a beautiful piece of... Um, fiberglass laid on a mold right and yeah. then vacuum yes in a not so fancy vacuum bag Ye yes that but it's not so in ouch yeah. yeah so we have to cut that out but most that will stand up. Yeah. yeah most interesting part is how do we remove the glass from the mold how Difficult is it gonna be to? Oh, oh, oh. ouch! Easy. This part will be the most interesting to see how ugly it is. Well, it's pretty ugly. This is all epoxy that has to go away. So, and, and, and the round thing. But we have half the problem, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. No, I yeah. think we have double the problem. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but are we reviewing yes. now? Yes. It's coming out, isn't it? There we go. Nicer if the exterior was pretty, but <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> so that will fix that will fix with filler. But are you sure this is enough for you? Yes, all I want is a centimeter. Ui. Nice. Yeah. Oh, this part. Yeah. He went all the way. <laughs> he went further than I thought. Yeah. 
I guess it's very well compressed there. You might need to patch the fiberglass there. Maybe. Into yeah. We definitely need to remove the plastic bits. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. But this is this is beautiful. Yes, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Do you think it'll fit? What? What? <laughs> of course it will fit. Yeah. Otherwise, why did you make it if it yeah. doesn't fit? Of course it will fit. Should we check? Do you want to take the camera with you? Not if it doesn't fit. Oh, first you check and then we say, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sure. Can I cut here? The top looks blue? Uh, yeah, try not to cut too much, but yes. it comes it comes wait 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 one more time there so here will be the protection for our lines yeah yes. cool he looks good yes pretty big gap in the front but oh you can let's see some extra sika flex let's see yeah. how big is the gap I think it looks it's pre perfect. pretty good, yes. Cool. There's a bit of a gap here. Uh-huh. On the forward end. It's actually good for yeah, water to come out through, but but uh, I want to glue it in place. So. Yeah, yeah. First we need to sand it a little bit, fair it, and then you glue it in place. Yeah. You don't want to do fairing upside down. We've but learned I'm this lesson. I'm not gluing him in place until we have a mask either. Yeah, and that's hey Andy, how are you, boy? How's our beautiful boy? How's our beautiful flop? Oh, have you been running around? Hey. Yeah? Hey, Fluff. Hey, cute Fluff. You cannot come on the boat. I'm sorry. We love making the videos and sharing with you how it all goes. So if you enjoy watching them, please comment, give us a like, subscribe and click the bell to get notified of a new video coming every Sunday. Soon we'll get to more fun activities at Building Vilda, such as seeing her in white and installing the cool boat parts. Stay tuned!